got it all set up it's pretty quiet actually but it seems like it's got some decent power so we'll see what happens Yeah, it's the start of the video. Yeah, I'm sweaty and gross because I've been trying to work on starting this project all day. That may not make a whole lot of sense, but today I wanted to start pressure washing the Dakota. And I was able to put the bed on some dollies and get it nice and ready and set up so I could start pressure washing it. Well, we kind of have two pressure washers. One I got for free, um, but I've never really messed with it. The other is Greg's dad's. If you ever want to know why you should probably try to put non-ethanol fuels in your lawn equipment, power washers, whatever else, is because it's way cleaned up. And I'll show you some pictures of before right here. And I did get it, the bowl all cleaned out on this carburetor for the pressure washer, but that is the seat right there. The needle actually for the seat. And it has corroded in place. It will not let any fuel past it. Therefore, there's no fuel delivery on this carburetor. So that dude is not running. The other carburetor, uh, sorry, the other pressure washer I got for free actually got running, but the pump doesn't work. So. I'm kind of tired of dealing with uh, carbureted gasoline fixtures uh, when I need to use them somewhat often because you do have to go get gas and other things. So I decided to just buy an electric one. This is a 2000 PSI Ryobi. It, it was cheap. It was 200 bucks. And uh, well, I'm going to see how well it does on the bed. I do also have some purple power which is my favorite cleaning stuff. And there's some brushes and a spray bottle in there, but why don't I hook this thing up and kind of get started and see how this goes. Uh, for for uh, reference, if you don't know, the Dakota hanging out right there. I was an idiot when I was 17, 18 years old and I decided it, it was a four cylinder, so it wasn't fast. So therefore I must off-road it. Two wheel drive, it didn't work out great. And uh, that's what the reminis remnants of all this stuff is. Get a little muddy on the clay here. Let me move this. Uh, sorry. But yeah, I got some gear oil from the uh, rear end seal kind of going out. Bunch of rubber from burnouts for from uh, drag and drive events. And just gunk. So why don't we uh, put this uh, Ryobi to the test and see how it does. About all I can do. I haven't fired it up yet, so this will be interesting got it all set up it's pretty quiet actually but it seems like it's got some decent power so let's we'll see what happens Looks like it'll do the job.
pressure washing time lapses are very satisfying, at least from my experience. Um, but look, it came out a whole lot cleaner. I still have some grime and stuff here. So I'm going to try something and we'll see how it works. Um, apparently, you can put pressure, uh, some kind of detergent in this pressure washer, which I'm pretty impressed with. It, 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 it's done the job. Uh, and this is like a $200 pressure washer. It's 2100 PSI, I think. So, or 2000. So, you know, the, the gas one we had was like 2700 if it's running perfectly. But this is kind of really doing the job. And what's cool is I can get some attachments for it from Chemical Guys that helps washing cars a lot easier. So, I'm going to probably be looking into that. Um, but I'm going to put some Purple Power in the soap dispenser here. And I put, there's a couple different fittings. They said don't use the uh, high pressure one with the soap. So I'm going to try to use this blue one, which is like low pressure. And see if it allows everything to kind of get soapy. I do have a brush I bought. So I'll be kind of scrubbing stuff in. So uh, that's my next step. Let's see how that works out. I look great, don't I? I bet there's crap all over my face. But that's okay. Only downfall of all this is we haven't had rain in a long time. And, you know, our Texas gumbo is... Um, super sticky so yeah i'm gonna have to wash my shoes off after i get done with all this but let's see how that soap works all right let's see hey looky there it is soapy A good way to apply it. Oh, there it really goes. I like that. Pretty confident to say that that did the trick this is kind of an untreated area where I didn't scrub it this is where the main stains were and uh, man that looks awesome so this isn't gonna be perfect I'm happy with this outcome here the rest of it's okay what I what I'm trying to do the most here is just be able to work underneath the truck and not get crap in my eyes all the time so that's awesome I'm gonna try to get the upper two decks done and we'll get this last one here i gotta be careful because these are my lines to cut out my bed yes i'm cutting out a perfectly rust free bed so i can have access to my fuel pump so hey these things happen on dragon drives and it is what it is but this is the original bed for my truck so what better uh better thing to do these things aren't worth thousands of dollars so i'll do what i can but that's awesome all right, let me get back to it.
that was successful that was that was money well spent i'm very happy with that thing for for the money i spent on it and what it can do that's good um it's gonna be hard to tell how clean it is because of the uh shadows from the trees and stuff like that but uh man it looks awesome and uh so i'll wait till all that goes down and see if i can't show you guys if not i'll uh I'll show you guys tomorrow. I'll, I'll close it all up and bring you all back out here when the uh, shadows aren't casted on it everywhere. But uh, night and day difference. Absolutely, di absolutely uh, way cleaner than it was before. And, and I can't complain. So that's really, really good. All right. I'm going to shut it down for now. And then I'll show you guys the rest tomorrow. This poor GoPro has gone through a lot and I'm uh, probably going to be ordering another one here soon. Uh, unless you guys have some recommendations for some other action type cameras and stuff like that. But uh, I just got done cleaning off a whole bunch of mud on it that I didn't know it was on it. But it's still working. I'm pretty sure it, 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 it looks like it's still working. So uh, I got it back in the uh, shop behind a truck. Uh, it, it came out as, as good as I could have hoped it uh to come out all the dirt and dust and stuff is off of it it looks very very clean i can now probably work under my truck and not have to worry about too much of stuff getting in my eyes that has been getting in my eyes probably for the last 15 years 20 years that i've been working on this truck because i was a dumb 18 year old and off-roaded this uh, poor thing but uh it, it looks amazing i couldn't be happier um looks like there's some staining from where the diff uh, seal is leaking but I don't care really i just want to make sure that there's no more dust and grime on it maybe maybe i uh had a pound or two of weight savings there with all the crap on it but um yeah it looks great so i'll be able to do some fitting and stuff like that with the gas tank before too long but first what we're gonna do is i'm going to wait on my dry shaft to come which should be here wednesday or thursday and um uh, that's good news because then i can uh put it in make sure it fits if it all fits then the drivetrain's coming out so uh, that's probably what i'll be doing next weekend um as long as i don't have something else going on uh but we get the engine and uh get get drive shaft in make sure it fits if it fits everything else comes back out and then we're going to put the truck on the ground and we're going to wheel it out to my driveway i'm gonna put it back on the cradles and i'm gonna pressure wash the underside of the cab because it is absolutely filthy and just gross and it's worse than the bed um so i would really like to have all that clean um and then just so i can work underneath the truck not get a bunch of dirt in my eyes whatever else i need to do um it'll be something that's kind of overdone and then i'll also watch the back of the cab here and get all this grime and stuff off of it and then who knows who knows maybe it'll be painted before too long because uh i've been thinking about that and if i since i just said that maybe i'll throw it out there what color would you paint it um i definitely want to think i'm definitely thinking that i want to paint it gray but do i want to paint it like a uh what do they call it um it's kind of like a flat primer gray i think they call it nardo gray or do we paint it the original silver which I, i'm really thinking about doing that like the more the more i think about it the more i'm like mm, maybe i should repaint it silver so i don't know let me know what you think uh, it's also been blue in its lifetime so that's a that's something to think about was blue with white racing stripes and uh, <laughs> and that was just rattle can paint job that i did when i was 16 or 17 years old but anyway let me know what color you think it should be i've got one more thing to do so i'll be back in just a little bit and then uh we'll do that and we'll call it a day Well, the last thing I want to do is uh, I want to exercise some of these cars in here that I haven't had a chance to do in a little while. So we're going to fire them, hook up batteries and fire them all up. We'll start with the Bel Air here 
and uh, she usually starts up pretty good for me. It just takes a minute to fill the bowls uh, when it evaporates, but we'll start there. We'll work on to the Sonoma. Then I'll put some brake fluid in the Nova, see if I can get that pedal to pump up for now. But I gotta switch these two when I get them running because I gotta go get this dude inspected so we can get it legal. But uh, hey, let's see if the Bel Air starts. usually never a problem I don't think I've started it since I moved it in here uh, in this position since maybe June but yeah fires right up not a problem runs real good yeah all right on to the Nova Last up, this poor neglected thing that runs really, really well now and it isn't really a problem anymore. But it's not legal, so I haven't been driving it. It needs AC fix too, but uh, we'll fire this thing up. We're gonna swap the Nova with the uh, GMC and we'll be good to go. There's my little version of musical cars, right? Uh, but now I can get the Sonoma out to go get inspected, which is much overdue, but I don't recommend letting your car sit for two months or something like that, but they all fired up, no problem. And I would say it was a pretty successful weekend and I hope you had a successful one as well. I still like to come over here and look at the bed. It looks so nice. Here's all the damage done from the pressure washing on this side which is not too bad. I can probably sweep all this out or hit it with a uh, leaf blower, but hey, that was that was very well worth the money to buy that little fresh washer and get some stuff done. So I've been kind of playing with the wiring. Um, I just got to get some stuff back in place, maybe reroute some things that, uh, that I think will maybe make it work better, but I'm waiting on a drive shaft. Uh, so I can't wait to show you guys that when it comes in. Uh, probably next weekend so i'm gonna go shut it down and go eat dinner so i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend thanks for coming along as always and if you're new to this channel obviously we have all kinds of stuff going on 
this project right now is the main focus this will be next but we do have some other side projects that come up all the time so we've always got something going down and hopefully provide something uh, for you guys to watch so uh, if you're liking the stuff on the channel if you like the cars please consider subscribing and hanging out with us we'd love to have you and you can also check us out on social media on instagram and facebook at the racer x garage so all right time to go eat dinner and i'll see y'all next week and until then you guys know the deal y'all be good Thank you.